You may not recognize his face, but you definitely know his voice. No, no, Lois. It's time I joined the ranks of great men with beards. Why, why do you think Jesus Christ was so popular? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be learning more about the life and career of Seth MacFarlane. Seth Woodbury MacFarlane was born October 26, 1973, in Kent, Connecticut. At age two, he began sketching beloved characters like Woody Woodpecker and Fred Flintstone, and soon, his hometown paper ran an original cartoon strip he created. After high school, McFarlane followed his dream by enrolling in film, video, and animation at one of the country's top art schools, the Rhode Island School of Design. Oh, hi there. You scared the crap out of me. I'm here to tell you about a fantabulous new series concept I've developed. While there, he produced the animated short The Life of Larry in 1995. Well, listen, I mean, even in this apartment, I mean, some nut in his underpants could just walk in off the street, bang on the door, and demand God knows what. You guys have any cheese its Honey, I think we should move. And this served as both his thesis and as a prototype for the show that eventually made him famous. The powers that be at the legendary animation house Hanna-Barbera got hold of Larry and were so impressed with McFarlane's skills, they hired him to work on shows like Dexter's Laboratory and Johnny Bravo. McFarlane then produced a follow-up to Larry, which got the attention of Fox. After a failed attempt to hire him to create animated skits for Mad TV, network execs gave McFarlane $50,000 for an animated pilot. It seems today that all you see is violence in movies and sex on TV. But where are those good old-fashioned values on which we used to rely? Six months of hard work, hand drawing, and channeling his edgy humor paid off when Fox picked up McFarlane's show. Family Guy's debut episode got a plum spot right after Super Bowl 33, when 22 million people tuned in to see the show's wealth of pop culture references and its crude, politically incorrect humor. Meg, you don't need to change the way you look. You know, most of the world's problems stem from poor self-image. <laughs> Not only was McFarlane the creative mind behind the project, he was also the voice of many of the show's main characters. You've impeded my work since the day I escaped from your wretched womb. Who would have thought getting drunk at a stag party would get me 150000 bucks a week from the government? This is why I don't vote. In 2000, he took home a primetime Emmy for his voiceover work. Unfortunately, the network tossed the show from time slot to time slot. This cost the series valuable followers, and eventually Family Guy was officially cancelled in 2002. That was the same year McFarlane won an Emmy for Outstanding Music and Lyrics. So let's go see the USA. They'll treat you right unless you're black or gay or Cherokee. But life after Family Guy was not dull for this up-and-comer. McFarlane lent his voice to a few other animated shows and appeared on screen in programs like Gilmore Girls and Star Trek Enterprise. He also began developing a new adult-oriented cartoon series. Meanwhile, just because Family Guy was off the air did not mean people stopped watching. The show won legions of fans through reruns and DVD sales. This renewed interest resuscitated the show, and Fox made the shocking move to bring new episodes of the series to TV in 2005. McFarlane also unveiled a new show that year. American Dad eventually became a success, with McFarlane again taking on voice roles and skewering right-wing politics. You know, Dad, it's great that you and your CIA buddies have created a fun little system to keep the masses paralyzed in fear. You like shaving your armpits, Haley? Huh? Because if the terrorists take over this country, that's the first thing to go. With two hit cartoons, McFarlane set out to do something different. In 2007, he served as executive producer on the Rob Corddry series The Winner, but it failed after just six episodes. The next year, he made a splash online with the web series Seth MacFarlane's Cavalcade of Cartoon Comedy. We are gathered here today to ask the blessing of the Lord our God for this union of Mark and Stephanie. But McFarlane had more hit cartoon ideas up his sleeve. The Family Guy spin-off The Cleveland Show began in 2009. What the hell? He's getting his own show? My name is Cleveland Brown, and I am proud to be right back in my hometown with my new family. 
and McFarlane became the highest paid TV producer to that point, with a $100 million three-year deal for his three shows. In 2010, he appeared in the critically panned but commercially successful comedy Tooth Fairy and began serving as host of various Comedy Central roasts. So we're going to take a few pokes at him here tonight, but there is no denying that Charlie Sheen is an icon. You've seen him on TV, you've seen him in movies, and if you're a prostitute, you've seen him point a gun at your face while you try to get him hard. He then showed off his impressive musical talent by releasing Music Is Better Than Words in 2011. You're the cream in my coffee. You're the salt in my stew. Get it now? Where he sang big band, jazz, and traditional standards. He branched out in 2012 by making his feature-length directorial debut with Ted, where he also voiced the title character. When you hear the sound of thunder, don't you get too scared. Just grab your thunder buddy and say these magic words. But perhaps his most atypical project was a revival of Carl Sagan's popular show Cosmos in an effort to underscore the importance of science. Fans of the original will know more or less what to look for. If, you, okay. if you've never well, seen the original, you haven't heard of it. A lot um, of them are dead, so let, yeah, why don't yeah. you tell <laughs> As a comedian, McFarlane's humor has sometimes gotten him into trouble. He has been named in various lawsuits, and his sometimes offensive shows have been the subject of boycott attempts. However, McFarlane has offered his support for issues like gay rights and marriage equality. Despite the controversy, McFarlane has led the charge for animation domination and has become a star in the process. That is, that is just <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> With his quick wit, talent, and trademark voice, Seth McFarlane became one of the most important names in cartoon history. Oh, for the love of penis. May tell me, sweet and <laughs>